All right, so we've got um, this little website I made here. It's kind of a, the Timbers website, but I just added a little bit of some of that zombie text and some bacon text. Uh, and we're just going to learn a couple of tricks which will help you out with your next project. So the first thing we want to do is I'm just going to put in some, some basic stuff we've done before to kind of make this look nice. Uh, I'm going to make my header look like this which makes that change. Uh, I'm going to change that title so it looks like that. I'm just going to goof around with the background, change that color to that, and mess around with my navigation so it looks like this. Um, so now we're rolling. Um, if you could do me a favor, uh, in your HTML, I forgot to get rid of this div thing. If I don't remember to fix that mistake before I give it to you, uh, just let me know. So anyway, it should look like this when you're all said and done. Um, I am going to do some things with the navigation and these are all standard ones that we do um, quite a bit just gonna give it some of that margin and stuff um, and then my list items I'm just gonna do those so nothing really new so far so far here um, the last thing is I'm going to change the anchor at items inside the navigation. Okay. Um, so one of the things, one of the things that you may have noticed, um, and that we did in this one, is if you look in our header, uh, this is new. This position, uh, position tag. So what I did is I made the position of my header fixed, and I told it where it, to, where it should be. It should be in the left side, um, zero pixels, and uh, from the top, zero pixels. So that basically locks it in the top left corner of my page. Um, if you look, if I start scrolling down here, here's my header. As I start doing that, my header stays in the exact same spot, right? And that kind of like box shadow goes and eats everything. Unfortunately, it's eaten about half the, the pictures, so we're going to have to resolve that in a little bit. Um, so I've got these three div tags. Uh, so I've got a photo space, a text space for bacon, and a text space for all the zombie, zombie stuff. Um, so I'm going to pop in this line of code for my text space. Uh, I just gave it a width, I told it to go to the left side, uh, gave it a little bit of margin. Um, this overflow thing is something new. Okay? And I gave it a fixed height. So watch how this overflow and this, um, this fixed height kind of play off each other. See if we can see it. So if you look at the, um, the bacon part, now it's, uh, it's a box. We told that box to be 30% wide and 400 pixels long, and that's 400 pixels. Um, the overflow, the text didn't fit in there, so I said, well, if it doesn't fit in there, um, just add this little scroll bar, and, uh, and then that's how we can access the rest of it. Um, you can do some other ones here. I think you can put hidden, and that'll just hide everything that goes outside the box, um, but that seems kind of silly. Uh, and there was another one that's visible, where it like just bleeds outside the box. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that same uh, line of code for my text space number two and my photo space and watch how my page looks. Yeah. Um, so I made it uh, a width of 30%, 30%, 30% 30%, with one pixel to the right and one pixel to the left. So that means each one of these boxes has 32 
um, is responsible for 32% of the page. Um, so 32, 32, 32 uh, doesn't quite get all the way across. Um, if you want to make this so it goes four across, all you need to do is make it so they're around 25% each and they don't bleed over um, to the next one. You can see with the, um, uh, the pictures, they are too wide, right? They're too wide, so it creates a little scroll bar on the side for mine. Um, and as it gets bigger, this would be asking too much if this worked. Um, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, so one thing is I've got this footer in my HTML. Um, and it says, oh yeah, email me at this, uh, this address, right? Um, I don't really want that to be down in the, you know, like underneath there. So I'm also going to give that a fixed position. So I'm going to just copy this in and save it. And so that I told my, it's position to be fixed. But now I'm, I'm instead of going from the top and left like I did previously, uh, I'm going to tell it to start counting from the right side and the bottom. Um, so this will be 30 pixels from the right and 5 pixels from the bottom. Uh, did I save? Yeah. And so now I have this item uh, right here. And if I scroll, um, no matter how I, I move this thing, right, it'll always be right at that point. Um, so if you have items on your page that you want to remain uh, fixed like that, um, you can totally do that. Uh, if you want to add in some things uh, like a border border radius to this, um, some of you guys were uh, getting trouble on the border radius. Just remember you can do it as percentage or pixels. So if you do like five pixels um, for a border radius, it'll look like this where it'll just kind of round off those edges. Uh, and that's not so bad. You could also do five and what that means when you do five pixels is they count five pixels in one two three four five and they start the circle from that point right um, since a radius is uh, half of a circle um, all it has to do to become a, a perfect circle is reach this middle point so if I I can use percentages as well too so if I put border radius 50 percent it's going to go halfway in uh, to do it um, and halfway in, well, then on the other side, it'll start making that circle too. Um, I don't want it that though. Looks a little bit silly. Let's do like, I don't know, 15 pixels for a border radius. Um, and yeah, that'll be like our little tag. So you're going to start using more complex uh, design layouts in our next projects um, and start using some diversity. So in the assignment page, you'll see um, exactly how I want you to make your next um, web page.